Ok, guys, I'm here today with Mike Musumeci, huge honor for me. Guys, Mike is the most successful American Jiu-Jitsu grappler with Gi in the world. He has won three world titles as a black belt, and uh, he won words on every single belt, blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, and black belt. And he went from blue belt to black belt in two years. So this video is how to go from blue belt to black belt in two years. So like, how did you do that? <laughs> so, okay, so the first thing is mentally, even when you get to black belt like two years later, you still feel like a blue belt I because you jump belt so I fast. It, I it. You know, so um, I won blue belt juvenile two worlds in 2013 and I got my purple belt that day. And then I won purple belt worlds in adult because that was my first year adult 2014. Yeah. I got my brown belt on the podium. And in 2015, I won brown belt worlds and got my black belt at 18. And I was a year of 19, so I was turning 19. So about three weeks after worlds, uh, the American nationals was in Las Vegas, where I live now. Yeah. But um, I was living in Florida at the time. Yeah. And um, I basically just turned 19, like two days before this tournament. And I was already the age to fight as black belt, you know? So I got right. the opportunity to fight already black belt and I was able to win my first tournament beating João Mia. Man, that's awesome. No, and, and especially like being a guy like João Mia, which is like one of the toughest on that division like by far. And uh, guys, nowadays it's not even possible to do that anymore, right? To go so quick from one belt to the other. But at that time on IBGF it was still possible. And uh, Mike, how many hours did you train per day in order to do that? A lot of hours. <laughs> um, so basically, um, this jump from belt was so hard um, mentally because like I said I still felt like a blue belt and then I was fighting like Joel me out who was like I was such a like growing up watching them you know yeah. like they were like all the people I was watching so I was such a fan of him I was such a fan of all these top black belts and then I jumped up to the belt so fast so I was in school every day I was in high school when I was like purple and brown belt so I would wake up at like 4 or 5 a.m. and Joel with my sister before going to high school Every day, I would leave school and then just train as many hours as I could, you know. I got it. So it basically, I remember everyone telling me when I was gonna fight like the Meow Brothers and all the top people at Black Belt. Oh, they live on the mats, this and that. I'm like, but I'm in high school. What do I, you know? So okay. Okay. how do I live on the mats? <laughs> so, awesome. so I had this obsessive mindset where like I just have to get better. I have to get better. I have to get better. So I never was satisfied when I won in blue belt. Like the second I won in blue belt, I was like, okay, purple belt now. Okay, uh, brown belt now. So I never in my mind was like content with winning. Like I was training the next day again. You know, when I won brown belt worlds, I instantly went back to training the next day for black belt. Like I said in the previous video, the difference between brown and black isn't really like, um, it's more of a mental thing. You Now you're like blue belt again because you're getting comfortable with yourself at black belt. Because I felt so uncomfortable when I got the black belt. I really felt like I was a blue belt juvenile fighting black belt adult, you know. Okay, okay. So, uh, the biggest thing as a black belt is it takes a little while to get more comfortable. And how you get comfortable is you just throw yourself into the fire. You okay. fight the best guys and you either get killed and you just keep going. You, or you win. You know, it's just constantly getting taking hits like a, hit, like a punching bag. But after that first year, you'll feel better. That's the secret. Uh, that's the coincidence. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Like my first year was the toughest year I had as a black belt. And then the second year was one of my best. I this won same. my first world title. Me too. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, and, uh, I, I, I have done some research about it, actually. Like uh, most of the guys who became a legend in the Jiu Jitsu world, blah, 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 they won the words as a black belt in the second year as a black belt. For world. sure. They lost the first year and they won the second. So. I, I remember the first year of black belt, every match I was doing, I was like shaking so much and it was like so hard. I remember talking to Bruno Malfacini who won black belt worlds 10 times and I was asking him like, what could I do like to feel better? And he just told me, black belt is like, you just have to get used to it, you know, like it, it really, and then I now seeing that, like it is the, exactly what he said, it just, you're gonna feel horrible like your first few competitions in black belt. I think actually it's not hard for people that don't have pressure. I think it's less, but when I won my first tournament as you owe me out, I instantly had pressure. So okay. then once you feel pressure, it becomes very hard black belt okay. every year okay. to keep competing. And like, I've even talked to Guy Mendes about this and like, you're expected to win then against everyone. Everyone's so good. Okay. Okay. So then you have to, then you become like, I gotta keep working because everyone wants to kill you, you know? So it just becomes harder and harder. 
So black belt as a competitor is like such an interesting belt because that first year is going to be hell. But after that first year, you start feeling like, okay, I belong here. This is like the certain belt that I'm used to. And you start getting way more and more comfortable with this belt and you start figuring out who you are. Like okay. you kind of know who you are already, but it's almost identification again you go through. And your jujitsu will change so much in black belt because of how hard you start training and pushing yourself. You know, when I first got to black belt, I was already in college at this time. And basically I would wake up in the morning like 5 a.m., train as many hours as I could before 1 p.m. And then I'll be in school from 1 to like 11 at night. I'll right. get home and then I would be like, okay, what do I do? I have homework and I have to sleep to train the next day. Right. And I'll just not sleep. So okay. then I would just do this over and over and over. You know, so um, it's, you, you kind of have to be crazy. to You have to want it like so much, you know, like there is really no way to do this except working hard you know that's really the difference between man, the top awesome. you know man that's amazing mike and uh, it's amazing to see like how much you have achieved it and how excited you are to keep achieving more stuff and even throw yourself in the open class like being just, you just have to be crazy you just yeah. have to be crazy <laughs> you have to like pain to be honest <laughs> yeah that's awesome So, Mike, thanks so much. Thank you so much. And, guys, every structure from Mike is at bgfanatics.com. So, make sure to check that out. And thank you again, thank Mike. You. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.